Okay, so there are only two options here. We've got the, the statements are either going to be true or these statements are going to be false. And before we answer, right, we really want to take a look at and deal with the absolute value thing. So this first thing, right, you can see it's the absolute value of negative 6. Well, the absolute value of negative 6 is, right, it's just the number 6. And this says 6 is less than the number 4. 6 is less than 4. That is false. There's just no way that's going to be a true statement. So the first one, A, is false. The next one, it says you're going to take the absolute value of something, and the thing you're going to take the absolute value is the result of when you combine negative 3 and 5. So I want to point this out because sometimes students have the perception that you just make everything, you just make all the signs positive and then just do some arithmetic. No, this says you need to evaluate what this is. And once you know exactly what this is, then you talk about the absolute value of that. Well, this negative 3 plus 5 is just the number 2. So this becomes the absolute value of 2, which is 2. And this says 2 is greater than 2.5. 2 is greater than 2.5? I think not. This is false. Let's move to C. 4 is greater than the absolute value of 0. Well, I know the absolute value of 0 is 0. So this says 4 is greater than or equal to 0. Absolutely. This is totally true. The first one, 4 is larger than 0. So that's true. And then the last one, we have the absolute value of negative 4 plus 3 is greater than 1. So this negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So this is the absolute value of 1 is greater than 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. So this says 1 is greater than 1. It is not. This is false. 1 is not greater than itself, right? 1 is equal to 1. So if it said if it said 1 is greater than or equal to 1, for sure that would be true. But it doesn't say that. It says 1 is greater than 1, which is false. So for this problem, we had false, false, true, false.